Yo, what's up everybody? Anwar07 here and I got you for the Gears 5 Xbox Game Pass Challenge for this month, uh, August 2020. Uh, by the way guys, this is the last, besides Soul Calibur, yeah, Soul Calibur, that challenge, I'll have the video out maybe later today, but for sure tomorrow. On my account, I've finished all of them except Soul Calibur, this is my wife's account because I have the majority or all the early achievements you can get on Gears 5 on my account so I'm gonna show you on my wives it's uh, Gears 5 Operation 475 plus points Microsoft points uh, earn three achievements no particular order no particular achievements and after digging around online and looking at the achievements themselves uh, the ones that I've collected and the ones she was missing uh, these are the ones I come to agree that are the best ones to get for your time I actually tried some campaign ones that's why this video was delayed and I timed it um, and it, it doesn't correlate well after doing some reddit hunting and whatnot definitely this is I think the best way to do it or at least one of the best ways to do it Brother brothers in arms I thought I was gonna say brotherhood but anyway press B skip it you'll get your whatever gift if you get any gifts Holy crap, there she is. In the name of acquire character skins for three different post-launch characters. Well, there goes. My wife unlocked one. But those are not the parts in the video. Okay, that's one. But that does not count. The ones I want to show you are different. So we're going to boot up the game. Go to Versus once you're in the main menu. Go to Custom Match. Then Land Game. Not alone, no online one. You're going to host one. So yeah, at the main menu, you want to pull out the right trigger and then it'll pull out that slash thing, that, that sliding menu, and then push, uh, I just pushed any button on this controller on the second one. So this is going to require two controllers. I apologize for not letting you know ahead. I'll put it in the description uh, so you know ahead of time. But you'll need two controllers. So this one's going to be the dummy one. Uh, we're going to leave that one on the side. The main controller pretty much does everything. The game custom, land game, host game. And so once you get into this, uh, this, so this, you're going to choose the game mode, okay? We're going to leave it at All Fathers Arena, uh, but Arcade Blitz, uh, you want to choose that game mode, more than likely it will be already chosen. It's chosen for you. You're going to turn off bots, you're going to lower the round score limit to the lowest, and I don't remember the ring necessarily what it was, because I don't play much Blitz. Uh, downtime, allow for a down player to be down but not out. Let's just lower it just in case uh, I need it in there, but you probably don't need to lower it yourself. Uh, respawn time. Uh, whatever. So anyway, there you go. I switched it to five seconds uh, because that's how much you need to wait in order to respawn. And then probably leave it at zero actually so you can just immediately respawn. So once you have that set up, go to your second controller and you're going to swap teams because you're going to be on the same team. You're going to go down to the red team which is the horde or the locust if for you who hasn't played this game uh, since they changed it to that. Up. And so there we go. It's going to cut down. Press X on the host controller player number one and then let it you know take the timer down so what you need to do is win the blitz and the easy way to do it just sort of like free for all either reach the score or win by timing time running up so that's what we'll do here we'll skip this part because it's just loading so at the beginning of a blitz match you're going to choose your character and one now we're just going to choose a random one uh you want to just win it it's quicker honestly so capture the ring because it's 50 points to win and actually i don't even remember how many rounds is it let's just take a quick look i forgot how many rounds we're looking at yeah rounds to win is one so grab the ring and go kill player number one and all that stuff in order to play you pre you can press a to go over cover that's the default mode i play on tournament which is the right bumper which is uh why i broke so many right bumpers on my elite controller prior to the version two just cutting off real quick, I went to kill him, the player won, but you don't need to. Uh, you won't get points uh, to, towards winning. Uh, it's just about whoever dominates the ring. Actually, this is just shows how much I haven't played Blitz. Like anything arcade, social, like relax, I haven't touched it much in Gears. I pretty much always just played ranked game modes. But yeah, you just hold this ring and you just keep steady up until, you know you win so once you win the round there you go that's one win uh, for you that is an art client blitz game mode which i highly recommend for new players for the gears franchise 
it gets you going and stuff and they've actually toned it down a little bit more to actually be more in line with the actual game because back in the beginning man this thing was it was so not even close to the game hit shots right and left and the sliding was toned down it was a pain but they definitely tuned it a little more um, realistic you could say to actual gears so let's see we'll skip this part remember to not allow your second control to fall asleep and so once you do the arcade blitz we're gonna switch over to a free-for-all now I can be Nashers only or whatever but let's just stick with the normal one free-for-all uh, no bots bot difficulty won't be there downtime whatever we'll do it at one second and then uh, round score we're gonna lower it but the thing is we're gonna find out which one's faster 10 minutes or killing him 10 times so let's try that we're gonna lower it to 10 minutes, 10 minutes here, no execution rules, doesn't matter. So these are the settings you might wanna have, you wanna have, and then keep the same teams and just, cause honestly it doesn't matter because it's free for all, <laughs> there's no teams. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. We'll do free for all and then we'll go into great iron, which is capture the flag for gears. All right, so once free for all starts booting up, this is what you'll see and what you'll feel. Uh, you'll get the game waiting for other players, which is funny. It's just loading uh, What thing you can do in this map? Honestly, you can choose maps that are closer that you're more familiar with I actually start quitting gears around the time free-for-all was picking up uh, So I didn't do much of it at all. So the maps this one I pretty much I do know this one though But yeah, that's pretty much what you're looking at. So let's make sure we get this going So it's gonna be about 10 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna try to kill him 10 times and see if I can find him and kill him quicker than 10 minutes but yeah I'll, get, I'll fast forward to that part but this is pretty much all you need to do just leave the controllers there pretty much don't let him fall asleep let the 10 minutes run out and that's it but let's find out if 10 minutes it's quicker to kill him than that and by the way I invite you to come to Twitch hang out we're doing Assassin's Creed from the very first well the second one Assassin's Creed 2 all the way to Valhalla and then we're currently this week in Revelation in the filming of this video and I hope that by the end of this month we should be around I hope Odyssey or at least Origins right but anyway let's fast forward hey real quick a tip that's working this pistol right there if you hold the left bumper you can see which icon it belongs to so that way when you left you press the whole left bumper or just your TACCOM um, button which you can revert to A if you're doing tournament uh, you can find the bolt talk icon like right there and then hit over there and that'll definitely be quicker than guessing around and learning the map we're about five minutes in so honestly I think it's quicker to just you know do the dirty deed yourself anyway I lost the gun oh I passed it but anyway yeah Let's find out though. Let's make sure it is faster. By the way, just to tell you, there's the achievement, Victory Seized. Uh, place first in a match of free for all. Um, there you go, you get that. That's one achievement. We're working for the next one, okay? We're working for the next two. We did get one at the beginning, but that did not count. That was not planned. You're not gonna get that if you've never played Gears 5. Um, my wife has a little bit. But anyway, that's that, free for all. It is actually quicker, or it can be, depending on how well you figure out the map, uh, on finding the opponent yourself and just finish him off. It'll save you three to five minutes. Which, in my opinion, is quite a bit of saving. And it's not as boring as just leaving the thing sitting there. So now, we're gonna program it. Uh, we're gonna set it up, I mean. And we're gonna set up the next mode, which is Gridiron, the last one. And by winning and not letting them score, if I remember right, we get another achievement. We're going to leave it at the normal range of, uh, let's just leave it at the normal range of default, whatever. What was the default? Two minutes? So yeah, two minutes is good enough. We'll leave it there. And then game, and then we're going to go up here. It's again the All Fathers Arena. That's the one I just don't change the map in my opinion. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button plus the bell and, and the like button with all notifications turned on so you get notified whenever the monthly weekly challenges come out so as you can see in my account I did not get that notification that my wife got on the top one that's because she has never played this game mode 
And so here is just one flag spawns in the middle, right or bottom of the map. It's practically top, middle, bottom uh, in the middle of the map, if, if that doesn't make sense. Uh, so it, technically it is random a little bit, but not really random. Uh, but it is randomly though decided on which of those three areas it'll spawn. So you'll just run up to it, grab it, remember, press A to, and hold it to run. Uh, you take cover with uh, A also, or the right bumper. If you do tournament mode in the controls, it takes a couple seconds to deliver the flag. And I'll just show you that it does change areas. And then I'll just keep going. By the way, there it is, pay dirt. I scored a touchdown with a flag and geared iron. Actually, I didn't think about that one. I thought it was uh, outscoring the opponent. Right there, monthly quest finished, but not. Okay, the first achievement does not count. We're still missing one. That is win or complete a free-for-all gridiron and blitz match. That's our third achievement, not this one. Remember that. So you We're grab it the and then take it over there. See, this time spawned on the, what I call the bottom part of the middle. And then the next time probably spawn in the middle or on the top part of the middle. Or the middle, 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 top, all that good stuff. Anyway, we'll check it out real quick. But yeah, scoring one it was the achievement, not scoring all of them. I forgot about that. Oh, by the way, I love Gears. I stopped playing because there's other games I want to play, right? I'm not going to play the same thing over and over. I'm not that kind of player and person that just plays literally the same game or games all the time. I play a ton of different games, uh, even on mobile. So I'm a variety gamer, you could call it. Uh, but Gears is one of my favorite uh, game franchises of all time and so I appreciate it and whenever the Series X comes out and I can run this puppy at 120 FPS you bet your sweet peach emoji I won't be there anyway you're gonna come back to Gears peeps if you haven't seen it in a while I personally think the updates they've done are good still Gears 5 though and uh, definitely an improved version but let me know what you think in the comment section below or come visit me on social media it's under n 7 let's keep going I'll just fast forward till the end so you get the last achievement and you don't have to sit here for long and go get some gaming done. By the way, real quick, uh, before we finish this one, uh, this one, you need to score uh, 13 points to win, and you get one point for uh, team elimination and two points for capturing the actual flag, and so it is quicker for you to do the capturing, um, even though you might be tempted to kill you the player number one or player number two, whichever it is, not the primary one getting the achievement. Oh, the challenge, I mean. So anyway, right here, as you can see, we could take her down and whatnot, but at the end of the day, we would only get one point. Uh, and there it is. There's our third achievement. It's called Sampler. Uh, completed a match of free-for-all, arcade blitz, and great iron. So there you go. That's the three game modes you need, and then we get a different one. Shout out. What the? Won a match of ground and kept your opponent's scoreless. I knew there was an achievement like that bad, boys. I knew my gear's five, baby. I played this crap. Anyway, uh, yeah, there is an achievement for keeping the score to zero. That is two. So technically, a quicker way. Let me know. Confirm in the comments for me so others can know. But I think you could just go to a free-for-all, win the free-for-all um, by either running the timer out after you kill your opponent once or killing him so it's quicker than 10 minutes and then going straight to Great Iron, score, outscoring your opponent 0 to 13 and then actually scoring the flag itself and that's three achievements right there so hey that's it they're actually a lot shorter it's like what 10 15 minutes but anyway guys let's unlock that puppy let's go and double check that it was done correctly and it is in the right place at the right time 75 microsoft points for free xbox game pass ultimate or some gift cards here and there and there you go earn three achievements unlocked I hope this helped you. I'm Anwar7, and I'll talk to you all next time. Peace.